Hello, world. How's everybody out there? Uh, welcome. As tradition dictates, how little sprite. Ah, it's so good. I mean, it's not really good for you at all, but, you know, whatever. Um, just, uh, I discovered I have a little thing in my glasses, so we'll take care of that really quickly. Otherwise, it will annoy me the whole time. Actually, I'll probably forget about it pretty quick, but whatever. We'll just take care of it. Um, so last night, spent a bunch of time trying to figure out how to get um, a Python script to install as a command line tool and got it figured out. Um, I'm going to go through and actually right now just kind of redo it again because it was late and I was kind of like getting foggy. So I'm going to go through and redo it again and then make some notes on it um, and then figure out where we go from there. Um, oh, actually, sorry. The other one I want to do real quick is uh, we're going to look how much more is left in this. Yeah, now we'll do that later. Or I'll do that later. I was going through the Django for beginners book, um, which is what this is right here. Um, oh, here's my hello world. And I was going to see, I was close to a chapter. I think I was just going to copy and paste the last little bit of stuff in, but it looks like it's a little bit longer than I thought. So we won't do that. Um, I'm doing a, a, a chapter a day thing. Um, so I started on the ninth and then I immediately missed the 10th. But I, so like I've done it there and like I was going to try and get two chapters today, um, which I may still later tonight. Um, or I'll just have it start on tomorrow. Um, but yeah, so there's my notes on the tutorial. So anyways, let's jump into this and see where we go. Um, so the thing that we ran into last time is you have to run this, and I'm okay with this, like if I'm installing it for a command line tool, actually, would I put, where did I put in here? CLI tools. That didn't do very good. That was from two nights ago. Setting up. Oh. See, NVL, it keeps doing that sometimes. I mean, I guess it's cool because it's actually going down to there, so that's fine. Never mind. It's actually doing what it's supposed to do. Um, I was just... I've got pi dash and then CLI dash, so I thought it might hit there. Um, it didn't. Yeah, so that's adding that. Yeah, yesterday at 11 something p.m. So set up tools. We put all that stuff in. Tag CLI, helpful links. Okay, so I think this is good. I'm going to walk through this here in just a second. Um... that when you try to run command line, you can't run the strip correctly. You have to call it as a module. Yeah, so the wrong place. The setup spy, you pass it like a top level module, and then in this case, the this file, which you don't necessarily have to do that. Like if the file's sitting right there, you can just call it but then inside of there you call the main argument um but if you just try and run this file directly it gives you this import error but if you do python 3 well actually you can just do python because it's in a virtual environment i'm surprised this one didn't screw up i installed something today called s tunnel and it through homebrew or through brew and it 
installed everything else for brew, which I wasn't expecting to have happen. Um, and Python was part of that too. And a whole bunch of my Python stuff in other places broke. Um, so M words to say, yes, yeah, so if you just call it, it automatically, so when you call the package or you call it as a package or as a module, it looks inside this main file and then it looks and then it runs it. So I have it calling main here, um, which this is, I, I'm not sure about this code, um, but it apparently kicks out. If you have an error, apparently it kicks out the error number. So you know that it's an error. Um, otherwise it goes zero, which lets you know that it passed. Um, so it's a successful run. Um, but now the thing I want to do is figure out how to test this. It's like, I've got that down. Oh, yeah, and so you can also do, like you can pass arguments to it, which is the whole key here. So yeah, it, yeah, so you give it you give it the package name and then the file name. And it's kind of the directory structure, right? Um, and I, th I think you can actually do it as if the file was sitting directly next to it, I think you could do that, but I don't want to do that. Like it's going to be in a package, so that's cool. Um, so when I was first doing it, I called that and that's how it worked. And you need to have this init file in there so that it knows it's a package. Um, so that's pretty simple, right? It gets you, gets you there. Um, again, the place that threw me was when I was trying to do this import. Um, ooh, actually I need to do that. This basic structure, um, general structure. So let's get into our hello world. Print out all kinds of junk, isn't it? Yeah. Tree to tree dot text. We can take out all of this. So we can include tree. Ooh, big old red there. Didn't like that. There's all the stuff that goes in your virtual environment, which is to say a lot. I don't want to accidentally kill stuff down here. So. 175 directories, 1300, 1300 files. Wow. So I don't need PyCache. All the rest of the stuff we want. Oh, there's words to say. That's the full, that's it, isn't it? I'm not gonna worry about tests right now. Where? 
Setup.py. Looks like this. We'll do two. Words to say. Net is empty. Oh, this comes weird times. Words to say. Init pi empty file words to say main dot pi why does it do that sometimes I don't get it it's not all the way over. It was just doing spaces instead of full tabs there. And words, worlds to say. Words to say, hello world, up high. Oh wait, did I actually call that let's call that and make sure that really does work oh, I should do a better example of this yeah see there's no pip installer everything's freaking out Okay, let's actually make a better thing of this. So, I don't want that yellow right there. So, args parser parse parks arg people. Hello world, we're gonna hit that. So start with, let's just see. Print, well actually let's just call it, maybe, right? What's hello world look like? I don't need to read anymore, thank you. I get it, go away. And I wish there was a way to just run this right here, but there's not. You gotta do this. Okay, so that's calling it properly. I'm afraid to hit don't show it again, because I'm afraid it will never show it again. And so what we get is args. So we're gonna pass args.people to say hello world. Yeah, so you can do your argument cleanup in main. I like that, because you, you can do your config here, you can do all your whatever here. And the other thing I'm working on here is a little bit trying to like structure, like how do I want my Python projects to look? Because I, it sure doesn't look like there's a standard or anything that I've seen. I need to go like jump into source code in other places and see what, how other people are doing it, because like there certainly don't seem to be blog posts about it. Uh, so this is going to explode. All right, hang on, I'm going to fix this. E A C T I deactivate. Hello world CLI. Kill the virtual environment. Python 3, module, virtual environment, virtual environment. Wait for it. There we go. SVA gets me into it. Now, if that ever comes back, I can tell it yes. Are you going to do it as soon as I click there? Nope. Just never do it again. 
Um, yeah, so didn't like it because it's we gave it arguments that it wasn't ready for. Now we can install it. We could be happy now. Now you can be happy. I don't think I really use that. I may need to just turn off that plugin because it keeps doing that. And like, I don't use it. Probably should, but. So people equals people.args. Hello, it worked. Cool. Okay. And then here, if length of people is greater than zero. I got spun around on this last night. I got backwards and I couldn't figure my way out of it. If it's greater than zero, print got people else print hello nobody. else with that let's try that got people yep because we passed people to it and now we're gonna do it without people hello nobody it worked see okay cool uh for person in people print hello here make that enough string um f Hello to person. No idea it worked. Hello, there you go. Okay, so that's cool. So now we're passing arguments. Okay, this is this is a good structure. I like this. I wish there's a way that I could hit control R and run it and hit it. run it and test it. But I guess most of the time I wouldn't be running it that way. I'd be doing the test stuff. So the test environment is going to be our next one. But let's let's put this in while we've got it. So here's main. Which is now much smaller, which is nice. Make the sample really short and sweet. Yeah, it's basically as short as you can get it with the main stuff, right? So we're gonna grab our arguments. We're gonna tell it we want to identify people and however many you pass, everything just goes into that. We do the parse, create our object, feed our object, and then go. And this is pretty simple too. Okay, sweet. That's cool. So let's actually, why don't we commit that? Did I make a get repo out of this? Did. Basic structure in place. This is good. Master, but upstream is gone. Uh oh. Goodness, got to be one of those nights. It, the past few days. Whew, have been a little unso. Right, testing. So Oh, actually I want to see. So I posted the other night. It was last night. This is crazy. When did I post this?
it's actually refreshing to this is way better than that cutting gifts would probably be a smarter play but I want to like get my head into this stuff I don't know <laughs> how's it going this is kind of incredible I put up a stack overflow question This makes me feel better because I was not, I couldn't figure something out, and so I put up a question on Stack Overflow, and apparently nobody else has done it either. So, you want to feel productive, yeah. The uh, well, and this is like the me stuff, so like I'm into it, um, and like I kind of like the chunking that's happening in my brain right now. Uh, But yeah, I'm actually kind of amazed by this. I've not really seen um, questions go like this for this long. That's kind of crazy. Uh, but yeah, so it's, I don't know, it, it'll be cool. The um, the stuff I was working on today is one of those, it's going gonna, it's gonna to end up being yet another one of those things that's been happening to me for the past several days where it's lots and lots of work that you end up with just a few little pieces of code. But that's how it goes. And until you know what those pieces of code are, right? It's like the, I don't know, what's that? It's probably anachronistic, but the Picasso quote about like, somebody asked him to draw something, so he like sketches something down and says that'll be $1,000. like, $1,000 for two minutes of work? He's like, well, it's a lifetime of work. It's just the two minutes was the last part of it, or however that quote goes. Something like that. Uh, choosing a test layout. PyTest supports two common tests. Test outside the application code. Test as part. Inline tests in your application package is useful if you have direct relation between tests and application modules and want to distribute them among your applications. But yeah, so I'm also not super digging into anything tonight. I'm just, this is just kind of like, whatever. Um, I don't have anything specific. I'm just messing around with some stuff that I was finishing up from last night. I may write a, write a blog post doing this. If you have many functional tests or other reason you want to test separate from actual code, often a good idea. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Is the Google one working better now? I dropped, uh, I've, I've got Comcast or whatever, and I took theirs out and put in a neck, an old Netgear one that I had, um, which I'm still paranoid about because it's like, I'm super afraid those things never get updated or are going to get hacked or whatever. Um, You can run against an installed version after doing install. Your test can run against a local copy with an edible install. You don't have to have it set up the Pi and are relying on the fact that Python default puts the current directory in Sith path to import your package. You can execute Pi and Python test. To execute test against the locally directed copy without using pip. I don't understand any of this. Oh yeah, DD, DDWRT, isn't that the, um, that was one of them. I don't know if that's the one you're talking about, but I think one of them was called DDWRT or something like that, right? Um, running private test instead of high test yields nearly equivalent behavior, except that the lateral add the current directly to the Sith path, Synth, sys path, whatever. Python unit test best RTI CES practices. 
Oh, d yeah, DDR2. I think that's it. I think there's a dash in there. Uh oh. I've been hacked. What the hell? <laughs> that's super funny. I'm trying to go look at like secure router stuff and it freaks out. That's really weird. Is my internet still alive? Maybe not. Well, that worked. Is Google down? Whoops. My connection to Google has died. That's disconcerting. Take out the dash. I, that's not the problem. So, like Google is not responding for me at the moment because that little blue line. Oh, there it goes. And there's that. Yeah, Google just freaked out. Or some. See, that always freaks me out because it's like, is it really Google or is there something somewhere in the mix? <laughs> I'm still thinking about getting uh, getting Verizon or not Verizon, getting uh, fiber going. <laughs> yeah, right. 2013 router, router. You could put DDWRT on it and make it all awesome. See, I don't trust this one because this is where I had the problem. Writing professional unit tests in Python. Let's try that one. Yeah, you got fiber. Oh, 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 right. It's already awesome. The Google. Yeah, um... Historically, I would have put that flash stuff on it, but like the one that I had, I think I looked at it and I think it actually auto updates. So hopefully I'm not getting hacked right now. See, this is the one that I don't trust because this is the one where I wrote this question that nobody's responded to because I copied and pasted the code and it did not work. And that was frustrating. Unit test, talks, mock. See, this also doesn't show you like the structure of the code. I need to like, I'm really tired of examples that don't show you the actual way that you would use it. Like, here's a quick thing to show you just how the it works in a theory, but not actually how you actually put a thing together. Frustrating. And also, running example. So like, don't make, so here's an example, but it like, stop that. Like, I don't need all that stuff. Make it short and sweet. Smallest thing you can do as short as possible, but no shorter, right? Here's your notice for stop, and we'll go in details later. But how are you calling it? You're not importing it. I mean, it's a setup method, okay, refresh, but you're not importing self, that, that this wouldn't work. About to jump to another language just because this one does hard to deal with. Like it's it's a good language, but like it's just 
I can't believe there's not like here, do this. Yeah, see, now we're importing it. That's what actually makes it work. This is way too long a post. I mean, credit for actually writing one and getting something out there, but. Oh God, Medium wants me to sign up. Import unit test, class, unit test, run. Cool. Yep, makes sense. So there's all the assertions. This is not a good way to do this either. Import unit test. Here's a class with a single function. Let's test it out. Also, not how you'd really want to do it because they need to be in separate files. Asserting errors in unit test. Test fixtures. Okay, you may find yourself repeating yourself on a code. You know, test one little step, tear down. Yeah, okay. All right, we're going to try something here. I think that was the last one of those, right? Yeah. That is very small text. You just install your package prior to running the tests. Create an activated virtual environment, then execute pip install editable dot for Python setup develop. And make the test just import stuff directly. So, okay, let's try that. We're in a virtual environment. Ah, oh, crap, but I don't wanna... Oh, wait. Wait, does pip install... hit the setup? Because I don't wanna install it. That would install it on the command line, and I don't wanna do that. Argument handling project, archive URL, set up by breaking out the name version. Uh, so I was like, I keep getting like, I'm. I keep getting one step away from where I need to be, but that step is like, you know, a lot. I need that. Where'd that post go? I'll just open it again. Oh, here it is. Pip install editable dot. What does that actually do? When would E editable option for pip install? Where's this file go? Here we go. For some projects, the last line marks chrome text is E dot. What does that do exactly? Okay. Install a project in editable node. I right, set up tools develop node. From a local project path or VCS URL, whatever. So we'd use this when trying to install a package locally. Most often, in the case we're developing on the system, it will just link the package to the original location, meaning any changes in the original. Yeah. Pip install. Uh, 
entry points editable. Virtual environments, I installed a custom package, override setup tools to create a new custom type, custom entry. I have another package on improvement setup tools. If I prepare an egg distribution of the package and install it with a modified easy, install exe. Or if I prepare a wheel distribution, install it in the modified pip.exe, custom exit are inserted. Why does pip not follow the same install procedure as easy install? I don't think it's gonna help me. You'll probably need to use the word keywords and set up pi. See the short answer. Enter points to not create customs. Grips with pip or easy install in Python? Question mark. It basically states that you need to do the following in your setup script, right? Where package contains that. That foo, right, okay. When I saw my package in the same directory, install user E, the entry points do not get processed at all, it seems, why is that? If I install like that, the entry process, but no actual script. Maybe we're in Ben. Okay. What's wrong? Talking about? Then I just use console scripts instead of my scripts. It was unclear that the script's name was anything other than an internal label for the programmer. Oh God. See, I don't want that to install. How? Oh, all right, let's just screw around with it and see what happens. I've broken this machine eight times today, so why not? Um, which say, hello world. Yeah, so that's kind of what this is. Uh, yes, I could build up a whole new VM and, and do it that way. Um, but that would mean I'd have to run a full VM every time I want to do that. This little VENV is a virtual environment, which will run Python. But the thing that I'm not sure of is if I run... So I can install the module in the virtual environment, but there's that other part that installs the command line tool, and I don't know where that's going to go. So that's what I'm going to try and figure out. Um, and it, it may go in the right, I'd, I'd prefer it not to go anywhere because I prefer not to install it when I'm just trying to run the tests. And I'm not sure that's the right way to run the tests. Like, like again, there's just like, and I went through this entire book and nothing in here of learning Python tells me how to actually do what I'm trying to do, which is just like basic test setup for package structure. Like, it's incredible. And I've been all over the way, like, I mean, I'm surely somebody's out there and like what I really should be doing probably is looking through source code from other projects and seeing how they're doing it. Um, actually, where's that? I, I looked at one of them yesterday. Let me go look at Calsay. Um, oh no, it was doing the little hack around too. Yeah, I'm just going to do it the way. <laughs> right? Yeah, that's basically what I'm doing. Um, the trick is... I don't want to actually... So like, this is installing software, which I would prefer not to do because that can screw with all kinds of other stuff if you're not careful. Um, if it... If I could guarantee that it would stay in the virtual environment, I wouldn't care about it because I could blow it away or whatever. But I think what is going to happen is if I try and install it, it's going to actually start installing stuff on my main system outside of the virtual environment. 
And while that wouldn't be awful with this stuff, I can't do that with some of the things that I'm that I'm trying to develop because it would start screwing with stuff. Um, so that's where I'm like, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of one, I'm close. I'm one step there. Um, but I'm not there yet. Cal say source code. Well, I get hub, whatever. Get hub. Did you see Cal say, by the way? I can't remember. If you do Cal say. Hi, Steve. And the Cal says, hi, Steve. Oh, this doesn't have tests. Eh, well, that's not helpful. Ah, they made .cal files. Manifest Ruby. Is there a way to... Whatever. Um... Pipx project. Uh oh, that's bad. Pipx. Where's the home page? Because this had some other testimonials, virtual environment, selling from source control, running from source. One of these had some stuff that uses it. Compared to other tools, this maybe. One of these pages, I thought, docs examples. programs to try. There we go. I think that was it. Ansible could be a little in my head. Let's look at this. I'm just trying to look for um, pack like source code packages that I could look at and see how other people are doing this, but like sometimes the packages are giant and it's going to be more than I can deal with. Set up. So that imports itself. Am I doing that? From setup tool, setup and find packages. Oh, okay, got it. That's weird. Okay, I don't understand that. Yeah, so this makes a console script. Oh, Vagrant. Yeah, see, they might be testing. Vagrant makes virtual drag. It can make. It's a tool that you use to set up virtual environments. Um, well, this hasn't been updated in 15 months. Maybe someone else has, but. So, tests. How are they doing their tests? Okay, so they've made it. Test helper pi, test integration, distro, demo, config test. As tools, OS path, yeah. So from that, which they ha okay, so they have to be installing it because there's nothing in there. Whoops. Test helper distros by config distros. Yeah, so they're making ASCII cast. Oh wait, config test. No, ASCII cinema dot config. That's config, and ASCII cinema is up here. It's inside of it.
There must be... Okay, wait a minute. So, if that's that, test, context up high, whatever. Import words to say. Is that gonna work? No. See, that works if you add it to the path. It pulls up. So they must be... So there's their test. And their test does not have direct access to ASCII cinema. So it has to have been installed. I think. So, all right. Um, Let's do this. How can we do this? What am I gonna do? Context. Yeah, this is totally gonna install it. I don't know where it's gonna install it though. So say hello world v2. And then what was the code that they wanted us to run? Pip install editable dot. Dot means the current directory. But should I be in? Hang a second. This isn't going to work. Yeah, there's got to be a setup. See, it's going to do it. So in the virtual environment, successfully installed. So now if I do say, whoops. Oh, maybe it didn't. Yep, it did. See, it installed it, which is not what we wanted. The question is where did it install it? Oh, it did it. Okay. Ah, okay. We're okay. It did it in the virtual environment. Sweet. Okay. So we can just run that. And now, will this test work without this? It will. Okay. That's how you actually do it. <sighs> that was so non obvious. Cool. Okay, well now I know how to do it. And the other question is, now that I've done that, will main run by itself? No, still won't do that. That's fine. I'm okay with that, because that's all the config stuff. <sighs> Actually, that Riker thing is about what I feel like right now. Oh, yeah. I can't believe that's not, like, I'm gonna write that one up. <laughs> the gift bot can read minds. Uh, what was the previous one? Oh, uh, what's his name, Mr. Robot? Oh, weird, what is this? Oh my god. Did all kinds of stuff up here. I don't know what this is.
This is, must be just stuff that it did, but whatever. Okay, that's super cool. Oh. <laughs> right. That, well, so now I've gone from A to B, so that was, it's very much in line. That's super sweet. Because now, test hello world, right? So unit tests. I don't have to fuck around with any of this contact stuff. I can just go import hello world. Might not have everything in there. Hello world doesn't have hello world. What am I looking for? Oh, words to say. Words to say. Failed one error. Hello world is not defined. Uh, yeah, screw that. Run test. Okay, so let's make sure I can actually call something. So, fuck this. Sorry, file. You got... You did not. You were a lie. That file was a lie. All right. And I can control R it and hit it, so that's super cool. So... Gonna work. Has no attribute hello world. Uh oh, I'm gonna be in trouble. Uh Ram on test, words to say from so No, this is probably just me not putting everything in there that needs to be in there. I'm less worried about this now which is a stupid thing for me to say at the moment, given how the past several days have gone. So I need to somehow set up, find packages. Pip install, no. Uh, install package with pip. Invoking tests. Is this all PyTest, is that what this is? Yeah, PyTest. Oh, well that's why it's not telling me about unit tests, it's telling me about PyTest, I'm in the wrong, I'm in its own thing. That makes sense. Pip install, pip install. Oh, you know what I can do probably is where's Cal say? Apex. Where's Cal say? We're gonna look at other people's source code. So occasionally looking at source code is nice. Cause you can actually see what like the actual code behind it that works. So where's the setup? Unless he doesn't have a setup. Is this Python? That cow. I don't think this is Python. Cow say Python. Setup. Find packages, classifiers, whatever that is. Console script, okay. Hmm, I'm confused. So we've got words to say, but there's nothing coming down in it for hello world. I gotta do. 
to say is not defined. Oh, hey, wait a minute. If that imported, we might be okay. Holy shit. Oh, you fucker. Oh, missing key repeat. Ah, okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Hello, world. It worked. For fuck's sake, man. The very cool thing is, I now know how to do this. I've screwed around with this back and forth for years. I've never just stuck with it for the 30 hours that it just took me to figure it out. But now that I have, I know how to do it. So that's awesome. And more importantly, I'm going to put it in my notes. Okay. Yeah, it's interesting. So like a bunch of people have been doing like digital gardens recently where they kind of put stuff around and about on their websites or whatever, or like whatever they just, it's their, so they're doing the website, but it's not like a strict blog or whatever. Um, but I'm thinking, or I've been thinking, I was already thinking about it. Now I'm really thinking about it, about wiring up my little notepad grimoire thing so that it, so that I can tag pages in it because it's nothing but text and then have them just automatically go out and, and end up on the blog or un, end up on my site. Not really as blogs, but it's just like recipes and snippets and whatever's. Um, so I'm, I'm very much getting in that mentality. Um, Cause like most of the stuff that I write, I write it for future me as if I'm not gonna remember what it's about. So I try and be really explicit in all the stuff. And it's like, that would be those type of notes. It's kind of like that get book stuff. Um, that goes out there and like makes it a good way to publish stuff, basically. <sighs> I am excited to have had that done. Oh, I'm actually in a text editor. What am I doing? Uh, say hello, egg info. Read me. We're not going to mess with setup. We want tree. We don't. Pi cash. We don't need. I mean, having a cache of pie would be delicious, but this is not that. I really like this. This is a structure that makes my head happy. changed but just in case I'm gonna put the test last but a knit is empty main changed either but we're here and it will only take a number of seconds to do that hello world 
also has not changed, but again, it only takes a number of seconds. Tests, test, hello world, dot pi. key that does that automatically. Uh, note on the structure below, you can't run, so notes, how about this? Notes on the structure below. Main kicks everything off. But you can't run it directly. Oh, I wonder if you can. So, if you're in, so Python M words to say that works. If you go into the directory, Python M dot, is that a thing? Nope. Relative mode is not supported. Dot slash, whoops, dot slash, nope, okay, whatever. We can't run it directly. You have to run it from above, from above the directory with Python, 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 M. pip install dot something pip install editable dot wait do we do that yeah Directory with setup.py in it. That, that if you have a CLI. Console scripts entry point it will install in the VEMV as well. No need to worry about it installing. 
on your live system. Yeah, okay, I like this a lot. Because Maine was able to get to it too. Because it's in the same thing. Test had to go into words. Well, but yeah, okay, that's it. That's how you do it. Oh, thank God. I can actually go build something. Anything else? Oh, I should put a readme in there. Setup would go with your readme. Nah, whatever. It's fine. You should also add a readme. And a license file. Those aren't necessary for the code to run. So list them manually like this. I'm gonna start closing tabs. I closed 200 tabs earlier today. It was awesome. Um, not gonna worry about that one. Not gonna worry about that one. Not gonna worry about that one. That one. Maybe one of these days I'll read that, but this is way too long a post with way too many things. Mock, whatever. Okay, nope. That's why I didn't see this one originally. Mm, I actually had that in my mix. Did 
the special file points to your actual Python main function, right? By specifying main special command file in readings Python environment bin directory set up during pip install, my special command will become available. By specifying thus, your machines. Uh, Special A points to the, a special file points to an actual Python main function. When you type my special command, it'll execute the main function. Yeah, okay, that's cool. Say hello. Are you on Twitter? If you're on Twitter, I'll say hello. Code Python. Say hello. All right, right back at you. All right, I'm not gonna let you email me. Sorry about that. If you're on Twitter, I'll say hi. Uh, what is this? If you got a blog, I'll follow you. How about that? Hey, you got a blog. You're probably using WordPress. Cool, good for you. On tax about. Hey, there's your Twitter. I design and code. I like it. I think those are good things to do. Entry point, not creating. Okay, whatever. Whoops. are closed so all right let's go find a thing to do which i think the next thing i want to do is run my is actually use all that knowledge that we just gained and make ourselves a snake case names thing um i shouldn't have closed it i should have left it open because that way i could you know, copy and paste. Sneak test, sneak. Okay. Um, dev. What's in dev? Code. Snake case names. Is that open that way? Yes. Code also hello world CLI because I want to steal some stuff from you. All right, so I need to look at the directory structure now. This is nice. Okay, because I don't have to worry about all the naming stuff now. Because it's, I just get to name the name of the command. I like this. Good separation of concerns. This is making me happy. Uh, I don't know yet what to call the thing. Snake case names. Um. Move snake case names to snake case names temp, whatever. Actually, it doesn't super matter, right? So that's going to be our module. Just move that in there. Let's go to code. There's all our tests. Okay, cool. 
Uh, so snake case names. We need to have an init file. Yeah, it wants our lender. Okay, cool. So I can install the virtual directory. I hope it does. Don't tell me that. Oh, that just installed straight on top of my... You bastard. That wasn't cool. So snake case names, we need init.py just to make it a package. And then we need snake case names.py, right? So now if we do pip install Where'd it go? I lost it. Oh, whoops. No, I didn't put it in right. That's what happened. Hey, I closed all those windows, and guess what? I need one of them. <laughs> Never fails. Thankfully, I've got that. Pip install editable dot. do look up difference between that and that No, oh, no, set up the pie found. Ah, oh, I gotcha. So we gotta make a set up pie. We can do that. Actually, I guess to start with, we could even do. drop the entry points. All right, is that really all you need to do to get that to go? Yeah, look at that. So now, let's see if this works, if I understand how this works. From snake case names dot snake case names import, you guessed it, snake case names I just did all kinds of stuff there I don't know what just happened cannot import wait what happened I don't understand what's going on Hello world, what the hell is happening? Is 
set up, find packages, snakes. Yeah. Oh, uh, we don't want that to actually do anything. Oh, 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 it needs a main, maybe. Maybe. Got that. If I'm here and I run that. CD into dev snake case names. Yes, I'm there. User bit environment, Python 3.9. Okay. I don't know what all that is. Called Hello World. Why did it call Hello World? Where did that come from? More the point. That shouldn't have been there. Oh, don't tell me it's caching stuff. Oh, wait, 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 it's not in there. Hang on. Hold, please. Ha, okay. I understand how it works. Cool. Cool, cool. All right. I do not know the Blender API. I'm afraid. Um, see what it looks like. What are you trying to do? I guess that's the first question. I'm guessing this is non-trivial, right? Full documentation. Need to blender scripting? Like your feet what? What does that look like? Camera scene. I've never looked at this stuff before. This is gonna be like super intense. Spent a lot of time with FFmpeg recently, which is also not so. I've only export problem stuff packer. Anywhere the true values of the bones instead of zeros. F start path of F. Else right. Right bones, F bone. 
right pack. Right string bone dot name bone bone parent equals none. You write nothing. Otherwise, right string bone dot parent name. What uh? What values are you expecting there? I don't. I'm not familiar enough with the bones to know what it is. Or to know what's in there. Oops, I don't know where my chat window just went. Did I lose my chat window? I lost my chat window. There it is. You need to write the true values of the bones and says zero dot zero. Yeah. So could you just call like what are the what's the bones? Does it have like bones? I'm making this up, but width or height or whatever. Under API bones. Like, are these the structures you're looking for? B bone. Yeah, children. Parent was one of them, right? Parent, yeah. Okay, so this, it looks like you're in here, right? So if. I'm not sure I can make that any bigger. Oh, yeah, I can. So you've got this bone.parent.name. If I understand you, you're trying to pack, like, it would be like bone dot whatever one of these values, or I don't know, matrix? Is the matrix in there? Uh, no, that's a, an array, or a three-dimensional array, whatever. Three by three. I would guess it's on that. Without, but I've gotten like, I'm just throwing something in the air, and then depends on what the what the thing is that you're trying to write in there. But that's, I mean, that that's where the bone is. I don't see anything else. It looks like it would be helpful. Yeah, all the nulls. New file. Don't have bones. Oh yeah, I'm look. So I don't know enough about it to tell you. Bone names. I don't know enough about it to know. I just don't know enough about Blender to know what you actually need to put in there. And also F dot right. Okay, you're going back to that file. I'm guessing it's what gets passed in. Struck B, sir. Right string bone parent name. So if bone parent equals none, bone parent name struck pack. Yeah, you need some documentation to tell you what it is that you're trying to put in there. Because once you, I think once you find that, you'll be able to identify which like. It's probably one of these, maybe. Um, To see uh to see what it is like i wouldn't uh accesses i don't know um
Yeah, I just don't know enough about Blender to tell you. Whoop, I lost my chat again. But yeah, I drop drop some files in a Discord or something. I'll take a look at it if I can. I can't promise anything. This is not in my area yet. I have not done Blender. Child bone count. Hmm, yeah. Armature dot bones. References armature dot bones. Bones, armature bones, bone, read only. Oh, yeah, it's gotta be one of these or something. But I do not know. All right, sneak case, you can test, test up. All right, so cool. So here, we'll do this real quick. Pi test, I don't know why it does that. Uh, how do we want to test this? So file name one. So expected string is this. So let's run that, just make sure that gets there. Oh, inconsistent tabs and spaces. Still inconsistent tabs and spaces. That is frustrating, that's what that is. Is that gonna work? Oh, come on. What the hell? It's not from this, is it? No. So that's there. That's there. Is it something down here that's a problem? Okay. Hey! What's up, Victor? Free Dragon Doctor with Isis. Nice. That's so cool. And they're moving super fast. <laughs> I love it. That's so cool. Yeah, what is it? They circle every 90 minutes. Which is just nuts. Okay, finally, we figured out what it was. All right, so def set up. So SCN, snake case names. Make that global. Let's make sure that runs. Yep, okay, cool, we're good. And then what we wanna do is Um, strike name, what's a good, you know, update name. 
So this is going to fail because that doesn't exist. But we can make that exist really quick. I feel like that didn't type tab over right. Def update name. Um, self star file path. No, file name. We just want the name. Mm, do we want to do names or paths here? Crap. File path. Uh, new. Ooh, new name equals that. Return new name. Requires keyword file path. Yep, cool. Uh, file path string. Let's call it a file path string, huh? Just because it's, I mean, it is a file path, but I want to be clear that it's not actually going to be a file path. I don't know. So run that. Yeah, we're okay. But now we do this, and it's gonna die. Because that's not equal, which is cool, but then we can put this in. I'm not sure if I like code for this. Because on, uh, and there's probably a way to do it, but. Um, name is undefined, what? probably want this. Oh, I should have done it. On PyCharm, you can sit there and I can be over in the other file, control R and it'll run, which maybe there's a way to do that. Run without debugging, start debug, open configurations, debug the currently active file, debug a Python module, Remote attach, attach the process, Django, pyramid, yeah. See, it doesn't, that's not as good as PyCharm. Also, I can't get out of there. There we go. Visual Studio Code. Run different file. Multi root workspace. Python. How to execute Python from or a specific file. This sounds like an idea. Program setting and your launch configuration setting refers to the Python script that will be executed. By default, it's set to file, which refers to the file active editing. You just set it to the file you want to run. Versus launch configuration. Problems one. There's not a problem. Unable to import snake case. Snake case names. What? You're using it. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We'll give this a minute, and then we're gonna leave. configurations wasn't it on the application of five file, file commands class 
to have an entry point on losing time between solving files as possible as you can to make mine when I hit run five. The program setting and your launch configuration setting refers to the Python file that we, yes, so where is this? So cool. Little caps open. Just hanging out in space. No big deal. So cool. Debug. To customize run debug, create a launch JSON file. So then I need to set this. Python request launch, Python current file. case names oh that's cool it blows me away that we're just sitting here watching live streaming footage from space and it's like really good and he's using an iPad Technology, yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what, just mind boggling. No, that's not at all what I wanted to run. Tests, test. Oh, they're doing all kinds of stuff right now. They're getting close, huh? Oh, no, they're still a little ways away. You want to talk about an intense programming job? Write the software for a rocket ship. That's an intense programming job. All right, so I run it. Okay, if I run it from over here, what happens? Still ran it. I don't know why it's going orange. Now, can I, if I just do Control R, though, is it still doing it right? Yeah. Okay. So all you got to do, add configuration. So I got to bring it back here. Whoops. I 
just want to see if this is how this works. Yeah, okay. So when I'm running, it just runs that. That's cool. Now if I go back to here and try and run here, what happens? Still does it. Okay, so it's in. That's how you set it up. Okay, gotcha. Um, hey, look, all the scientists are wearing masks, except for the, you know, presenters. One day, that scene may show up in one of my movies. VS Code. Set Python test run to file. Hit, what was the? Command shift D to open the debug. Side view, or just click on it, I think. Because you can just click on it, right? I mean, that's just it right there. Click the link to create a launch JSON. Put this in there. Uh, how do we edit the configs? Doesn't let us edit. <laughs> Measles. Pew pew pew. Measles. Yeah, like when you start launching explosives into the air, <laughs> that's worth that's worth having some pretty serious regulations on. Um, I like, I'm I'm cool with that. Whoa. Uh, how do we just tell it to edit that? Is that what I just did? Hang on. Put in something like this. Run test file. With the path to the test file you want to use. Yeah, so as soon as you click that, it goes away. You can't. What happens if you take configurations out of there? I'm probably going to break everything doing this. No, okay, cool. So that brings you back in here. Add configuration. Click Python, click Python, click Python. P 
Python file debug the current. You'll end up with this. that to point to your test file eg there you go okay so that way I can remember how to do it Just make sure if I come over here. Now when you hit Oh, look at that view. That is awesome. There's a little spot on the lens right there. That's super cool. Is that the hurricane? There's a hurricane out there, isn't there? Looks like the edge of a hurricane. Oh, can't tell anymore. Oh, that might look like a hurricane. I don't know. Hundred percent. Yeah. If you're gonna drop a bomb on my head, I'm okay with somebody, you know, taking a look at that before that happens. Or it'll run the file. You can make more. Two point to as many test files as you want, or the other scripts themselves. I guess they left. Okay, so, okay, so. Sorry. Hopefully, you found your bones. Uh, cool. Okay. Yes, yeah, it's funny. I keep getting like. I feel like I'm in the beginning stages of all this stuff. Um, like I'm trying to use VS Code again. So like. Everything I'm doing is taking much longer than it will once I've done it for a month um, but I'm still in the new phase of all this stuff uh, all right so test snake snake case name so we're gonna run this right I swear that takes longer but whatever um, Okay, so we're getting our we're getting our stuff back, and we're just hard coding it back, so that's fine. Now we can actually do our code switches. Uh, that's not going to be there. It's going to be somewhere else. Uh, also, that's not going to run directly, and we don't need that. Uh, import re. We're going to need that. Um, so what's the, oh no, we can just, we can actually do this pretty straightforward. So new name, 
equals file path string lower lower let me just see it here I want to make sure this is working and that's gonna go right am I gonna see it yes look at that no I didn't see it where'd it go should have printed the hell Oh wait, oh, it didn't run the right file. Crap. Now will it run the right file? No. That ran it. Oh, come on. Oops. See, that does it. But if I come over here. Oh, I swear to God, that worked a minute ago. <laughs> ah, then, then, you're, you're. There, there, there. C, C, C. To shining C. <laughs> uh, okay, this didn't actually work, which is a bummer. First of all, I need to do that. Second of all, I need to do this. Third of all, we need to do this and see if it actually prints out lower. Okay, test file one. Yeah, that worked. Right. <laughs> it's then. I've seen some good takes on that before, where it's like, same thing. It's like, you're an idiot. And it's like, why are you R? And it's like, you're R-E. Yeah, people trying to, I don't know, front on stuff is not my favorite. I, I do my best not to do it. Every now and then, like, somebody just ticks you off a little bit and you can get all, like, bowed up or whatever, but um, I, I aim not to do that. I've got to hit F5. I don't want to hit F5. I can't hit F5. I don't have the, the key mapped. Can you change that? Stop debugging. Start debugging. Restart debugging. Run without debugging. Because F5 is a media key for me, and I don't I don't want to flip them. Oops. Oh, sweet. Yeah, see, you, you screwed me, Victor, because I started looking at them, and like now I'm going to have to get one, so you owe me money. But like, yeah, they look pretty sweet. Oh wait, I gotta watch this over here, otherwise YouTube's gonna yell at me. Oh, this is live? They're doing a live review of them? See, I I am much less concerned these days about like the really the stuff they're like you know it's who look at this like microscopic thing and this microscopic thing it's like I used to be super into that and I I've I'm not anymore um I I totally get it it's just it's not in my head anymore How many live streams do you have up right now I have two up I feel like you have eight The battery life yeah um, and the horsepower behind them, the speed behind them looks pretty sl slick. I've been doing some of that FFmpeg stuff, so I'm like, I wonder how quick that'll go. Because that would be awesome. Uh...
VS code change hotkey key bindings. Keyboard shortcuts editor. Rich easy keyboard shortcuts editing. List all available commands that I keep writing. File preferences keyboard shortcuts. Code preferences sheet keyboard. So code preferences keyboard shortcuts. Sweet. Okay, so I can put in. Ow, my foot is asleep. So let's look for run. That's a run selected line. Run selection or line in the terminal. Oh, that's pretty slick. And my foot is 100% asleep. Run start without debugging. But the uh, see the debugging only. Hmm. To debug or start without debugging, press Control D. Okay, hang on. Is there a way to debug multiple files in a single folder? But you can have multiple configurations inside one launch. The example at that has three different launch configurations. You specify any amount and choose the active one using the drop down memory. Yeah, but that's for debugging. Why is this copying the driver picker that I start debugging? I mean, I'm not angry if I have to do the debugging, but like debugging a test, I don't know, whatever. I'm, I just don't usually debug. Start without debugging. Okay, so take this away, edit, nothing. Oh, that didn't work. Debug, run to cursor. It's run to start debugging. Start without debugging, not what I wanted to. Oh, debug, okay. So, oh, this is it. Power, wait, power cell, what? Keep binding to F5, that doesn't make any sense. Cause this is F5 up here. It says start debugging. Start debugging and stop on entry. Start debugging and stop on entry. How shall run? Workbench action debug start. Okay. So this I want to do with this. Yes, I understand that. How do I make it go away? Press the desired key command and hit enter. Remove. Whoops, there we go, okay. PowerShell. Run. Edit, control R, go. Okay, let's see if that works. Totally lost my files. So here's snake case. Where's test snake case? There's test. Why don't this stay open? Oh, cause I clicked the wrong thing. Let's try that. 
So if I run this, uh, nope, <sighs> come on, you can do it. I believe in you. <laughs> eh, I figure, sure, that'd be great. One of these days, I don't know, I think I'm up to like 36 followers now or something like that. So I'm like, I'm kind of jazzed about that. I figure, uh, I figure at some point people show up and they don't. It would be cool to see more. Absolutely. All right, so if you run this, whoops, nope, run this, what happens? See, that's not running the right thing either. Oh, you know what? <laughs> Did I? When I was making my notes, did I take everything out of there? Snake case name dot pi. I bet this would have worked. Or I think it was working. And then no such file directory snake uh, tests. I put it under tests. Oops. Tests. Try that. If I just hit run here, is that going to go? Snake cast. Okay, one of these days I'm going to start spelling stuff properly. Take six. Still missed it. Maybe I should look at the file name. Can I copy the path? Copy relative path. There we go. You come here. You come here. Okay, I didn't see anything change. Maybe we gotta have a file open? Here, we'll just run that. What happens now? There, it worked. No idea what I did different. Um, I do want to see about those key bindings, though. No, I don't. I don't care. This is working. This is fine. Oh. Yeah. I probably had it covered with something, didn't I? Does it look better now? Uh, the chat window I have to keep bringing back in, um, and sometimes and I, I have to I'll have to watch out for that. I threw it over it. That's what happened. I'm assuming. Well, and actually, no, I don't know. I, I do want to go look at that. Run PowerShell. Okay, so hang on a second. So you... No, let's edit this. Let's put this back to what it was. Oh, I can't. Oh, well, that's what it is now. I still don't have the hotkey to do it. Um... Okay, so we're still hard coded. I swear that goes faster in PyCharm, though. If it really does go faster, I'm switching back to PyCharm because speed is cool. Speed kills. Uh, what am I looking for? Snake something? Oh, I might not open this one. project. Let's go find it. Ooh, it's very bright after looking at the other one. Snake case names. Uh, we've already got a virtual directory, so we'll see what that does. Base interpreter? No, thank you. What else down here? Why 
Why can't I do this? Oh, existing interpreter. Wait, what? Why can't I... Uh... He's broken. What if that other Python stuff blew up? Hang on a second. Let me uh, restart here. Uh, Velcro. Got you some pandas. That thing is a perfect analogy right now for what's going on with me where I'm hitting something over here and something over there is happening. Actually, I'm hitting something over here expecting something over here happens and it doesn't. And then... Huzzah. All right. I installed some stuff earlier. I was trying to install S tunnel earlier and I was doing it through homebrew and homebrew updated every single thing on the computer. And so lots of things are getting kind of weird right now. I probably should reboot. Uh, so I've got a little script that I'm working on. If I can get it to load, uh, the goal is going to be, I'll show you here. I want to have a script that I can run through and update file names to snake case. So like specifically, like I've got all this music that I pulled down from YouTube's free library or whatever. And I want to like make everything, you know, all lowercase with one underscore in between all the stuff. Um, and so to just snake case all the, all the file names, um, because I want to have the process that I'm going to spit over them. I'd rather not have to worry about like spaces and file names basically. And there's lots of times I want to deal with that. So, and I've had to deal with it forever. So I'm just going to write a script to do it. Um, so that's the, uh, that's the agenda at the moment. Actually the agenda at the moment is to see if PyCharm will load um, stuff. Cause if not, that's going to be a problem. Snake case. Go. See that disappeared. I don't like that. New virtual environment, location, existing interpreter also won't work. That's super weird. All right, I'm just going to make, yeah, I know it's not empty, but can I, can't you do that? Isn't that how you do that? Did I just open it? I thought you had to make a new project on it. Was it already a project? Oh, it might have already been a project. Eh, silly me. Okay. So test, test state case name. And run it, see what's gonna happen. It's probably gonna blow up because the, whoops, gotta run it this way. It's freaking out down here. Run, please. <sighs> Cannot run program. <sighs> Paste report to what the hell is going on? Everything fried. I don't understand how that could have happened. Pythar? Pythar. It's my new language. Let's try Python 3. How about that? Let's see if that goes. Oops. Don't cover the GIF window. Don't cover the GIF window. Yeah, never, never upgrade software is the lesson again of today security pff, whatever but like everything broke eh, not everything it really was fine but like 
I've run it. Everything Python has freaked out for a while today. Okay, it's I'm I'm gonna let it do its thing down here. Okay, it did its thing. Everybody's cool. Your snake case names. Test snake case names. Oh, it's still freaking out. Let's see what happens. I don't understand this. Why is it over there? Python interpreter. Interpreter settings. Oh my god. Add interpreter. Can't we just do it? Here we go. Existing environment. Python. Here we go. Okay. Yes. Let's use this. This sounds awesome. Click to see all running background tests. Tasks. Whatever. This is super exciting. Oh, you know what? I probably it's all these videos that are running over here that's probably not helping. We'll leave mission control one up. We can watch the video while we wait. Look, it's mission control. Super weird to me to see like, I don't know, open area. It seems like, shouldn't these people be not on display? Why? It, what? I don't understand. I think it's having to redo everything again. Yeah, this is the first time I've really been in PyCharm since that freak out with Brew happened. Yeah, it's pulling down everything. So I think Brew upgraded me from like Python 3.7 to Python 3.9 or something. Again, I was just trying to install one package and it did every, yeah, I'm on 3.9 now. I mean, I don't care, but except for the part where it's not helpful. Is this gonna run? All right, it did something. No module pie tests. You've got to be kidding me. I'm not running PyTest. I'm running unit test. Import PyTest. I didn't import PyTest. What the? PyTest runner. This is not... This is not good. Anaconda plugin, J B test runner, path. Do you have, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm frustrated with this. This is not how things go normally when software doesn't eat itself. Cool, it worked. This doesn't look at all like what that normally looks like. This is not using unit tests somehow, it's using pi tests somehow. Which why? Whatever, screw it, it's working. All right, question was, was that faster or slower? It's faster, it's much faster than VS Code. Sorry, VS Code.
wow, I have made not a lot of progress so far today. But we've made some progress. Well, that's not true. I've, we figured a bunch of stuff out. It's just, you know, would have been nicer if it would actually been like stuff stuff. Uh, what's wrong with this? Maybe static. I don't know what that means. So we're lowercasing the name. We're getting the name. Now we just need to mush spaces, I think. You woke up at 3 p.m. and you're going to stay up till 6 a.m.? Is this by... you have like something you're working on? Or is this just like you're just going to do it? Because those are kind of crazy hours. Kind of Kind of hurts my head thinking about those hours. I used to do those hours. I no longer do those hours. Uh, we can do a straight replace, right? Is it supposed to print something? I want to see where it printed it. Test file one. Okay, here it is. Just want to make sure I can see the print coming out. Um, New name. Oh, what's the what's the Python substitute? Is it sub? There's sub, but isn't there also just replace? Probably looking right at it. Ooh, that just went very blue. I might as well just go into right because I'm going to need them anyways. Um, regex, sub, we're going to do uh, slash dash plus with nothing on new name. That oh, whoops. Oh, did that just run? Oh, that runs much faster. And so somewhere up here, now we should see. Oh, wait, what? Warning. Deprecation warning. Invalid escape sequence. What? How is that invalid? Okay, space plus. Oh, with underscores. Okay, that looks good. So now if we pass that back, do we still pass? We do. Okay, so there's our first actual thing. Yeah, so here's all the patterns that I came up with for different things that I want to watch out for. Um, there's a bunch of them. Which is one of those you don't really think about them until you start messing with it and start looking through a bunch of files and you're like, oh, right. Here's all the craziness that can happen. Um, so now it's just going to be a matter of doing this. Um, so I'm going to keep... I'm just going to keep going back and forth, but I'm going to keep this, like, dev one as the active one. Because uh, what that'll let me do is... I can keep my existing tests going. So I want all my tests to pass. Or I don't I don't want to break the existing passing tests while I'm messing with stuff. So I'm going to do my work on a different method. And then once I think I've got it ready to go, I'll point the new tests at it and then make sure that everything works and then roll the roll the code back in. I think it's how I'm going to do this. We'll see. Um, because what that lets me do, right, is so. Here's the next thing I want to test. Oh, so we did this one. So here's our target for the next one. Expected. 
from this. And so like right now, this is going to fail. Which is what we want. I want to see it fail first. And then we're going to hard code it in. Because now I want to see it pass just to make sure it's wired up. So that's wired up. Now I can actually go do the work to make this happen. But I, well, my whole test suite is green right now. Um, so I can do that work safely and then be okay with, you know, messing around with stuff. Um, at least that's the theory. We'll see how it goes. Here you go. I like it. Do you have like a game plan for motive, like a thing you want to do motivation wise, or are you just like still just kind of feeling it out and see what's going on? Uh, okay, so we're sending this in. Oh, so actually, I want to do this because I want to see this appear more explicitly. File path string, you'll file path your file path string, yeah, cool. Um So that'll be there. That's green, good. And let me just make sure if we run this, it they really are all good. Why is only one test passing? I need multiple tests to pass. Oh, maybe because it's named the same thing? Let's try that. There's two tests. What are we actually doing? So over this one, we want to do anything that's not, that's a non-word character. All right, we're just going to do these step by step. Any non-word character. Invalid as apes. What do you mean? Oh, come on. But it worked because it just did it. Deprecation warning. Python W regex deprecation. Python 3 interpreters string literals as Unicode strings, therefore as D is treated as an escape character. Declare Redex pattern as a raw string instead by preventing with an R. So this and this. Let's see if that's better. Hey, it didn't yell. All right, so here's most of what we're looking for, but then we also need to do multiple ones of those get replaced by one of those. Test SVA file two, is that it? Uh oh. What the hell? Where that SVA come? Oh, that must have been. That's an artifact of something. That's file two. Oh, the dots. Ah, crap. Um. There's a couple different ways I can do this. I'm gonna to need to figure out which one I want to do. Um, I'm just gonna do the simplest thing I think to start with, which is gonna be if I group these, right? And I put a dot here and do this. Nope, that did not work. If I just do a dot there. 
Also did not work. I'm going to the right thing, right? Yeah, dev, okay. Is it this? Oh, no, because it's a non word characters matching. So it's got to be, you got to do it the other way. You got to invert it. You got to do, if it's not a word character or a dot, then replace it. Right? Maybe? Yes. Okay. So now I should be able to return this. And that worked. Cool. And so now to test this, I'm just going to throw, I'm just going to forward the first thing at the second thing. Got to return it though. And if my test case is still passed, that means the code works. They don't pass. What's going on? Nah, no clue. Some sort of web app. There you go. How about a web app to, I don't know. Um, my brain's starting to melt, so I don't really have anything right now to tell you what the bird suggestions. Why isn't this moving? Because that's super cool, by the way. They're going thousands of miles an hour. Is that a... What's floating there? What the hell is that? Is that Yoda? I think that's a baby Yoda. I think I was a baby Yoda. Also, possibly I'm starting to hallucinate. Okay, why did this, oh, it's gotta, gotta be self. I wanna see if this methodology works. Yeah, okay, good. So it's it just forward straight on. So now I can just, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. Oops, those are gonna be duplicated. See, I'm not sure, like, I like this idea. But the mechanics of finishing it are always a little bit weird to me. Because now I nuke this. And we get rid of that. Whoa, they're docking. Boom. Baby Yoda. It's funny, their spacesuits almost don't look cool for me. Like, it's like a not good, a not great done sci-fi where the costume department didn't quite have enough money. I realized they weren't purely going for aesthetics, but like, I don't know. Hey, we've docked, that's what they say. Uh, 
Got to get ignore there. Yeah. There you go. Okay, whatever. I got some stuff going. Um, all right, one more of these, and then I'm going to bail. Because I had a kind of a long day today. A kind of intense day today. It was just hours and hours and hours of bug hunt. Or not really bug hunt, but like trying to get something to work. It's not really bugs. So you're going to be three. Oh, you know, if I was smart, do I want to do? No, I want these all in their own test because if they die, I want to be able to see it. But can you set up? Whatever, I'm just going to do this. This is fine. I was going to say, there's probably some way that you can kind of loop through some of this stuff or whatever, but this is just fine. Oh, I shouldn't have killed that. Should have left it there. Uh, whatever. New name equals blah. Return new name. We just want to do this so we verify that this fails. Congratulations, it exploded. And then we just do this to make sure our test is talking to the right thing. It is, we're green, now we can do some work. Uh, what are we actually sending in on this one? What are we trying to do? Oh, lots of extra spaces. Oh, this might actually just work. Hang on. I guess that should be the first thing I do is try it. See if it goes. Yeah, it just worked. I didn't have to do anything. That's cool. I like those. Those are my favorite. Maybe I'll do one more. That was three. Ah, space before the names. This one will not work out of the box. This one will explode. But I might try and do this one here. So. So start of the strings, slash s, plus any number spaces we want to do nothing. Let's see if that works. That worked. Okay. Ooh, space after name. No, that one's more complicated. Well, yeah, because you got I need to split and then do whatever. That's fine. I can do that. Um this is cool. I made progress. I made a lot of progress today. So, like, I'm happy with all of this. It was a long but in interesting and intense day. Um, but I figured out some stuff. Figured out how to install some stuff. Oh, PyCharm is actually just working here. Oh, because it's already installed in the virtual environment. Okay, yeah. So I'm doing my testing a different way where... I'm actually installing the module to test it, which apparently is one of the ways that some people recommend doing it. It seems like it's more natural way or whatever. Um, so it's installing in the local environment um, and then just being called directly. So like, it seems to work. Uh, I like it. I, that took a long time to, to bang through and figure out, but it's there. So anyways, y'all have a good night. Watch out for the falling space debris if they decide to throw rocks at us or something. But other than that, y'all take it easy. We'll see you soon.